as a tutor, what do you do if you have a 2T who tells you they're just not good at math? Well, this is not uncommon. You often hear students say things like, oh, I'm not good at math. Neither of my parents were very good at math and I'm not either. Well, the first thing that you can do is you can assure your 2T that there is no genetic component to math mastery. There is not a gene for calculus. So what you want to do essentially is to shift their mindset a little bit if they're operating under that assumption that they're born good at math or bad at math. A psychologist named Carol Dweck wrote a book called Mindset and she conceptualizes mindset as having two components, a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. A growth mindset is when a student operates under the belief system that through hard work and effort, they can change their mastery of material. A fixed mindset is when they believe that they're born with a certain amount of intelligence. So that's why it's not uncommon to hear a student say, I'm just not very good at math. That would be somebody working under a fixed mindset. Somebody working under a growth mindset would say something like, I know through hard work and effort, and if I use my tutoring center, and if I go to my professor's office hours, and I go see my tutor, I can really increase my intelligence and mastery of my math material. It might not surprise you to learn that students who operate under a growth mindset are more likely to engage in the pursuit of achievement, are more likely to persevere for longer, are more likely to enact hard work and effort types of behaviors, and ultimately are more likely to get a higher grade point average. So as a tutor, if you have a student who says, I'm just not good at math, you should gently challenge their mindset and maybe even tell them about Carol Dweck's concept of a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. Ultimately, if students operate under a growth mindset, they are more likely to be successful, not only in math, but any other subject area.